Hello everyone, today I bring you a new developer log for Creatures Corruption, or specifically, the free demo to Creatures Corruption. Previously, we talked about this game's topic, what it's about, and what you can expect from the game in the future. Today, we'll strictly be focusing on the AI features that will be present in the demo, launching on March 8th. We have timestamps in the description for different AI mechanics for you to skip through, as this will be a longer video. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Actually, before that, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam. You guys don't know how much that actually helps. It doesn't cost anything, but it will drastically increase the popularity of the game. On the other hand, if you do want to spare some money, another link in the description is to our Patreon. Subscribing to this will give you benefits such as the game and the demo early, a Steam key to the full game, once it's ready, extra playtest builds, your name in the credits, the whole kit and caboodle. But enough advertising, let's actually get into the video. In Courageous Corruption, your friend has been kidnapped by the resident across the street. However, this person has an odd disease, you can see their eyes flickering or glowing purple. There's a bunch of purple mist in the house, and you can hear odd sounds coming from a room in the house. You also realize that this room is heavily protected, with a bunch of keys and several tools needed to unlock it. But what you didn't realize is that this person will actively be doing everything to protect this specific room. This makes you determined to figure out what's actually in there. Good luck, because the AI powering this character will actually learn from every step you take and change his routes accordingly and make sure you make no progression to your goal. As you're looking around in this character's house for some answers, suddenly he spots you. So what would actually happen in this situation? As Kree spots you, you'll hear the music pick up, and you will know if you don't leave his house immediately, something bad is going to happen. As you're being charged at, you may not notice, but if you look behind you, you can actively see the AI calculating its next move. If you quickly turn left and run right into his garage for the first time, Grease may be a bit slower to chase you. This is because he hasn't chased you in there yet. However, if you do keep doing this multiple times, he might decide to run through the house instead of outside and meet you in the middle, destroying any path that you may have had. Alright, you're running from Creech. Suddenly, you hear the music change. You check behind you and there isn't anybody. You check all your angles, still no one. What's actually going on right now? Breach has noticed your absence. He is now sprinting around his house frantically to locate you. Make as little noise as possible. Get in the nearest closet. Get out of sight. If you can, leave the house immediately. Disregarding what you think is the best method out of this hole that might be, you can actually look behind the scenes at what's going on right now. Like I said, Creed has lost sight of you, he does not know where you went, so in panic he runs inside his house, checks all the locations you could have been caught at, as long as they are important spots, you can't just get caught outside a bunch of times so he'll hunt outside. Every time he checks a location that you aren't at, his anxiety level goes up. If he doesn't find you, who knows where you could be? He quickly hurries up to check all the other locations. If you're hiding in a closet, I really hope you never got caught in there, because he'll check there first. If he can't find you after checking his whole house, he may come to the conclusion that you're not in his house. So eventually, he'll just calm down and go back to his daily tasks. So what does Screech actually do while he's idle? Probably what you would expect him to be doing, just normal things. He might lay down on the couch to watch some TV, maybe eat some food, wash his hands, or maybe he'll even head to the gas station if he needs something that he doesn't have. The order of his tasks are completely random. Don't go on thinking he'll do something before something else, that's never the case. He doesn't have a great schedule. Maybe you're thinking, what happens if he spots you during his idle tasks? Well that depends on more of what you're doing, rather than what he's doing. 
What does he care if he sees you at the gas station getting some snacks or visiting the neighbors? But if you're doing something suspicious like standing outside his house, he might not find that as acceptable. It's up to you to find out. So what if he's angry when you leave his area? Well, in this case, if he's angry, it all depends on where you're actually going. Creech has a brain, he's a human too. If you're running out into public, of course he's not going to chase you down over there. He could get arrested. But don't go off thinking just because you leave his property you're safe because that's not the case either. So what does this AI actually learn from? How can it do all this stuff? I went over some chasing features in the AI chasing chapter if you want to rewatch that. Besides that, here are some other things that the AI can actually learn from. Well, number one, getting caught. Getting caught is one of the worst things you can do in his favor. If you get caught in a location, that'll just make him more confident in that location. It'll allow him to cut you off even better, especially if you get caught in closets. If he finds you in a closet once, why wouldn't he try that again? Each time you get caught in a closet, Creed will try this again, but it goes both ways. If he actually doesn't find you in a closet, the chance that he will check it might be significantly less than it used to be. Closing doors. When getting pursued, Creed doesn't care what happens as long as he catches you. Kicking down the door is faster than opening it, so don't be surprised if he does this. But if he does it too much, he might actually break the door, preventing you from being able to close it again and slow him down. And of course, lockdown. You may remember this feature from a previous alpha of Creech's Corruption, Alpha 3.0. Basically, Creech may activate an ability to lock down the exits of his house, forcing you to hide instead of run away. If there is a lockdown, let's be honest, there's really no hope for you anymore. Now that I've gotten most of the AI features out of the way, I want to talk about some future updates. After bug fixing and improving the quality of life on the game, we actually do plan to change and improve the AI systems in the demo. We don't have much planned besides more tasks and more intelligent learning, however make sure to leave a comment or join my discord server. Tell us what you want to see added. We would love to make the perfect burglar experience, but we can't do that completely on our own. We are a small team. Just leaving feedback on what you like, didn't like, or you want to see added, or anything else is greatly appreciated and will most certainly be noticed by the team. Make sure to wishlist the game on Steam and play the demo on March 8th. We cannot wait to see Creed outsmart all of you guys.